This is the future site of the European Spallation Source, or ESS. It will be one of the largest and brightest neutron sources for research in the world. Once complete, ESS will change how we probe materials at the molecular level. Neutrons by themselves are very interesting probes because they have no electric charge, so they can penetrate deeply into materials and investigate atoms and molecules in a way which is impossible with other sources. The performance of uh, the ESS facility is largely a result of the accelerator that is used, which is one of a kind. ESS will be very much like uh, what the spotlight is to an ordinary candle. We could observe the dynamics of the process simply because the brightness of the, the neutron flux that we use is so much larger. ESS's large size and cutting-edge technology will enable improved research in many areas such as materials, energy, health and the environment. You can understand the intricacy of what happens between atoms or between molecules at the macroscopic level and uh, hopefully come up with better solutions in the future. How do you orchestrate the construction of a facility like this with a proton accelerator that has to hit a target 600 meters away at 96% of the speed of light? ESS is being designed and built by scientists for scientists. One of the challenges is to combine the view of, a, of a civil engineering together with a scientist or engineer and integrate this, that we meet the, the different requirements and specifications and the, the really high availability goals. The decision to adopt the 3D Experience platform historically was based on strategic decision to find a platform that we can take on into the future. It also was proven to meet the requirements we have related to configuration management and, and a collaboration platform. And 3D Experience helps us uh, to actually manage all those aspects into one camera and single point of truth. ESS is an excellent example for what uh, Europe can do and uh, should continue to do in the future.